Hey guys, how's it going? Siddharth Rajshikha here and do you want to know the video tools that run my business? I'm actually going to share with you the entire list of software and hardware that I'm using to actually run my business. As you know, I'm testing on different kinds of angles, different kind of videos and I thought it's important uh, you know, that I can share with you all the stuff that's really working for me. Okay, you want to learn more about this, just type BIO in the con box, bring it on and I want to tell you exactly uh, what are the software and hardware that I'm using. now. I have a list of 10 softwares and a bunch of uh, seven uh, different hardware. Okay, so the topic for this particular session is this. The topic is, what's the topic? Yes, I'm gonna come back over here. I'm just testing this out. Yes, video tools. Okay, it's all about the video tools that I am running right now. Okay, so I've been testing all kinds of tools and I'm using this microphone initially when I started off, I didn't have all of this gear and everything, but now I started to up the game a little bit and you can see I'm using a DSLR camera also. And uh, yes, I've been doing a bunch of stuff, uh, researching on different kinds of things that can really work. So what I'm gonna to share today is like all the stuff that I'm using. I'm gonna give you the entire list of it and if you wanna learn more about this, you can just type BIO in the con box, bring it on. Okay, we have a lot of you here watching live. Awesome, awesome, good. So. Beautiful uh, evening, just thought I'll jump in and share with all of you uh, the stuff that's working for me. Let's start off with the first one and uh, I'm just going to give you the list of stuff that's working for me. You can also type in the con box what works for you. Okay, coming down to software. Let's come now to software. The first software that I use, in fact, the, the software that I'm using right now is called Ecamm Live, Ecamm Live for Mac. Okay, I'm telling you all the tools that I'm using. I'll give you equivalents for Windows, but I'm a full-on Mac user and an iOS user, okay? iPhone user. So it's, uh, there, there's some really cool stuff that's available only for this. So Ecamm Live is not available for Windows. And this is the only tool that I've seen where I can connect a DSLR camera straight into it just via USB. And I can stream live via this. In fact, I can have multiple DSLR cameras. and I can also switch different angles and stuff like that. So it's really, really cool, uh, you know, if you, know how to use this this particular tool. So Ecamm Live is used, I also use Ecamm Live for recording my software. I use uh, Ecamm Live for uh, for streaming, okay? And I'll tell you how I do this multi-stream. I'm actually streaming to multiple locations using this one software, okay? Let's come now to the second tool that I use, which is restream.io. That's what is allowing me to stream into multiple locations. So Ecamm Live has an option where I can connect this to restream and from Restream, I can parallelly stream into my Facebook page, Facebook group, my YouTube uh, channel, and uh, even my personal profile. So I, I can go into multiple locations at the same time, okay? That is one of the best features I've seen uh, in a tool like Restream. Is this cool? All of you, all of you just take notes of this. Number three is uh, I use ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is another software where I've recorded all my courses using ScreenFlow. And ScreenFlow, what I like about ScreenFlow is it's so easy to use as compared to using say Final Cut Pro or iMovie or any of the other tools. So ScreenFlow also records your uh, your screen. If I want to like record my my courses, uh, I can record parallelly the, the window, what, whatever I'm seeing, as well as I can uh, have my face as well. And when, when I complete the recording, it will show us multiple tracks. So I can keep moving things around. I can increase the size of my face whenever I want to come in the front. And then if I want to like jump into the, the mind map view, I can even do it this way. Now in Ecamm, I have actually set controls. There are shortcuts where if I you know, use those shortcuts, I'm able to jump between the mind map and my full screen. So right now it is full screen. If I just press command two, I can move into this, okay? If I, and I also can move into different other modes also. I'll just show you another mode which is there. So in case I have to jump into any other mode, but let's say I want to share uh, my browser, okay? Let's go and see, I want, to, I want to show you guys Restream, okay? Restream.io. So I can just jump into, into this uh, directly on the screen. So I'm, I've actually moved into the browser right now and you can see the browser. So Restream.io is uh, what I use, okay? Now I can jump back from browser, back into mind map, from mind map back into my face over here. So all of this is possible using Ecamm Live. But yeah, ScreenFlow is also another tool where you can do all of that stuff. You cannot like jump and swap between things, but you can record it in one go. And the beauty about ScreenFlow is you can add multiple layers and multiple tracks. So you can bring another videos, you can do your full-fledged video editing over there. It's got transitions and a whole bunch of stuff. Like whenever I want to add background music to my videos and all of that, 
I use ScreenFlow. Ecamm Live, I mainly use it for just going live like this and connecting with people. And sometimes if I have to just quickly record a video, Ecamm Live has a feature where I can record the video just, you know, the minute I hit stop, uh, it is already saved as a MOV file and I can directly upload it. I don't have to render it and export it uh, like in the case of ScreenFlow. Let's come back, let's come to the other tool here. Uh, the fourth tool that I use is uh, Final Cut Pro. I also have a subscription on that. What I like about Final Cut Pro is, yes, it is expensive, no doubts. And it's good for uh, any kind of movie kind of feel and effects and transitions, its filters and all that is really cool in Final Cut Pro. I'm, I'm gonna explore more than that. I've been playing around with it for a long time, but just that my style of videos really does not need FCP kind of work. Like I just go straight speaking to the camera and doing that kind of work. But, but there are many other vloggers who go around they, with their DSLR, they take all kinds of uh, you know footage and they put that all together, they edit it and they come out with a, you know, with a final uh, video. For that, you know, Final Cut Pro is good. You want to do like movie production, documentary production style of uh, videos, FCP is really good. And of course, this is also only for Mac. I mentioned, right, I'm a super duper Mac user. I've been using a Mac for since the, since the year 2005, okay? So it's more than 15 years. I've, I was never able to go back to Windows. Okay, I use Miro Video Converter, okay? Let me show you this particular tool. I think this is available for both platforms. And uh, let me show you how Miro Video works. Uh, is Miro Video coming on? Let's see if, it's, if I can bring it on. Yes, so Miro Video Converter, it is a tool where, uh, let me just show you the, the main screen. You're able to see the screen, right? Yeah. So Miro Video, it is that kind of a tool where you can uh, compress your videos. So if I have a video file, I can just pull that into Miro Video. Let's say I just go into all my Ecamm Live, uh, or let's say I'll just uh, choose some of my interviews that I have. Okay, I've got a whole bunch of interviews. So if I want to like compress this and make it much smaller, I can choose this as an MP4 format, and then I can compress this and make it into a smaller size. And sometimes, you know what, when you have MOV files or high definition files, like super high definition, uh, it's gonna be really tough for you to, you know, upload that or export that into multiple things. So I push that into Miro and I compress the whole thing into a smaller file. The quality is very good in this, even though it makes it into a small size, the quality of the video is too good. Now, if you want to like take large videos and make it into small videos for WhatsApp and for other, for Telegram and other platforms, I would use a custom size. The custom size I would use is like 600 by 338, uh, which is the custom size that I use for uh, compressing uh, for mobile. And then I push it out. It depends if you're going to be using like a 1080p format, a widescreen format, then you can go with this. So let's come back to this, um, which I shared with you. I'm going to now jump back into uh, this one. By the way, are you finding this useful guys? Just type super useful in the comment box. Type super useful. I just thought I'll share with you some tools that are really working for me. Okay, next time, next tool that I use, next software that I use is uh, Camtasia. Now, I, I'm not personally, I don't personally use it, but this is what I recommend for Windows users. Win Camtasia is the equivalent for ScreenFlow. Or you can even say equivalent for Final Cut Pro. You can also use Adobe, uh, what is this? Uh, Adobe Premiere. Adobe Premiere Pro is also what I recommend. And you can even go for that, uh, you know, if you're using a Windows system. The other tool that I use is BeLive.TV. Let's go and check it out. I'm just gonna jump into that window and see if it's here. BeLive.TV is a really cool uh, tool that I've seen. And uh, let's jump into, where is BeLive.TV? Yeah, all of you can see this, right? So BeLive.TV is, uh, it's like a uh, restream, it does all the features, but BeLive.TV, what I like is you can, you can actually customize that look and feel of your uh, live session. If you want to go live, you can add like your own colors, your own branding, your own logo, and they have like different kinds of streaming options. So if you want to do like a live stream with interview format, let's say you want to do an interview with, with two or three people, with two people, you want to do like an interview on Facebook Live, blab.tv is really cool, okay? So I also use this tool, not used it for a while right now. I think I need to cancel that subscription. They have not been using it for a while because after Restream came into my life, it's been like a breeze to use uh, Restream, okay? Next tool that I use is, um, let's come and check it out. I'm using uh, iMovie app on iOS. So iMovie is great for editing and stuff like that, okay? 
Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but let's just jump into this and see if uh, all of you can see the app. So I have iMovie here. I can just click on uh, start a new project. Okay, it gives me two options. If I want to like create a movie or if I want to create a trailer. So I can just click on movie. I'm going to create movie. And then it's as simple as this. You go in there and you can add uh, different, uh, different files. Just drag and drop the files and you can edit the whole thing. I'm just going to show you a session that I've actually done on this. Uh, I did an iMovie, I think I did one session like this. Okay, and just gonna click on edit. So I can actually do the entire editing of the, the entire track uh, just on this. So I can, so basically I uh, take small, 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 small clips on, uh, on my phone and I can just keep importing those various clips and I can stitch it all up. I can add background music and do a whole bunch of stuff, okay. So this is really cool. I really love iMovie, which is uh, another really nice app, which I would recommend. Another tool that I would recommend is uh, Spark Camera. Spark Camera is a beautiful app. I'll just show you how this works. It's, again, this is only for iOS. Okay, I'm a big Mac user, I said uh, iOS user. Now look at this, uh, this is Spark Camera, and I'll show you how cool this is. Okay, I'm just gonna jump into Spark, Spark Camera. So Spark Camera is where I can create small clips. Okay, I can create small, small, small clips. So I'll just gonna, I'll, I'll just uh, turn it towards me. You can see it over here. Uh, this is the camera that's actually taking the, the shots. Okay, so this is me now. All of you can see, I'm on Spark Camera. And let's just keep it this way and I'll record. Okay, so I have to just hold this and I'm actually recording the audio. Okay, let's click on this. I'm gonna hold this. Let's see if it's working. Yeah. It's working. I just click on it. So this is how it will look. I'm just going to click the play button. Let's click on the play button. You saw that? So Spark Camera is perfect for Instagram stuff. You know, you want to do like short one minute clips. As long as you're holding the screen, it'll create a click, uh, a clip. And then uh, you can go somewhere else, take another clip, take another, you can actually have a lot of breaks between the videos. And uh, you can add transitions, you can add background music, you can export it as a one minute video. Of course, you don't need to even bring that video into your phone, you can, uh, into your laptop. You can do everything. The entire editing can happen on Spark Camera. Trust me, I think it's one of the, the coolest, uh, you know, apps that I've seen, let's come here. I'll reduce the volume here, yeah. So I can actually go and edit clip by clip. I have only two clips over here, but if I want, I can add in multiple clips. I can take clips from the, from my, you know, from my phone and add it in also if I want. So Spark Camera is highly recommended for, uh, if you want to do like Instagram kind of uh, for clips and it's got really nice filters. It's got uh, background music, you know, royalty free music that's already there in the app. So you can just load that in. You can decide what ratio you want to have, but they want to do landscape portrait. You have both those options and you can do that. Okay, next, uh, next app that I use uh, for software for video is I use OneStream. Okay, let me show you OneStream. OneStream is super cool. Okay, OneStream is great. If you want to stream live, if you want to stream, one second, I'll just get this here. Yeah. One stream. I'm just getting into that software, just hold on. Okay, the, the thing about one stream is it's brilliant uh, uh, if you want to upload videos and make it seem like it is live, okay? So let's go and jump in and see one stream. So you can basically ha have a pre-recorded video of yours, push it into one stream, you can schedule it, and this will do a multi-stream. So you can parallelly stream on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Periscope, Twitch. In fact, it also has an Instagram uh, streaming option. So it also streams inside Instagram as well. And uh, this is not for live videos. Like this is a live video, what I'm doing right now. You may probably see the recording of it later, but one stream is great for uh, pre-recorded videos. So you can pre-record the entire video, have your video file just uploaded on, onto the system. I'll just go and show you how my account looks over here. I think I tested uh, one stream last week and it really gives some good uh, statistics. Give me, give me a second. 
let's jump in i'm just signing into my one stream account and currently i've connected uh, my facebook page my facebook group pers personal profile and youtube and let's go and look at the streaming analytics here so the last stream that i did i'm able to see stats like this like how many users from each of these platforms i just did one you know i just went uh, streaming once i streamed uh, something recently on my streams uh, like my passive income formula and i'm able to, uh, you know i can actually go and see the all the statistics about this okay let's go and see this past week past four weeks you can just upload your videos directly into one stream okay this is one of the videos that i which i loaded into one stream and then uh, you can select the video and then you can decide uh, where you want to stream all of this okay you can add this into the schedule put this into a schedule and as long as you have connected all your accounts into it okay you can just choose all the social media accounts schedule it for a particular time and boom it goes and it it'll be as though it is live but it is not live it's just pre recorded so another nice tool which i would recommend for those of you who want to really maximize on this so right now i've shared all the software part how many of you found this useful just type useful in the comment box type useful this is all the tools that i'm trying and testing there are many other tools that even you may be using the streamyard and there's so many other tools that there are but this is what i like in fact i'll add one more uh, one more tool which i recommend it's more of an app it's called inshot uh, this is for windows i mean it's for android and ios it is good it's an app it's very good for editing your uh, editing your videos if you want to make it like you want to add the top strip bottom strip add animations images as people are actually uh, watching your video you can use inshot okay and i'll i'll give you one more app if you're an android user you can even use this app called quick q u i k quick is also good for video editing so bunch of tools are given all of you all the software and all the apps that are possible uh, what i mainly use is i use ecam live i'll tell you the tools that i cannot live without are ecam live now it's restream screenflow miro uh spark okay because i movie i don't need it i'm actually doing it on ecam itself so these whatever i've selected are those apps that i cannot uh, you know live without the others i'm just testing out and seeing how it works okay these are my my top 5 on the list over here so now let's come to hardware let's come to hardware and see what kind of hardware uh, that i'm using now i'll just tell you that you can go to whatever extent that you want on hardware you can start very basic to go like super high advanced canon 5d camera and also what i'm going to share with you is what's working for me there are too many options in the marketplace sometimes it can also get confusing but i've just picked what works for me as long as i have decent quality audio decent quality video and uh, you know i'm not looking for like super high definition i'm not doing anything outdoor i'm not doing like you know time lapses and all kinds of uh, high def uh, you know work in in my format of uh, you know putting rolling things out but having said that this is what's working for me okay let's start with the first one i use a uh, <coughs> logitech c922 pro for my webinars okay logitech c922 let's go and check it out i'll just uh, show you the screen so you'll be able to see the you know how it looks okay so logitech uh, let's jump here let's jump into this hold on i'm going to jump into my google chrome okay jump into google chrome so logitech c922 is this it's a hd cam i really like this let's go and check it out it is at around 10000 rupees in indian rupee terms but it's super up 1080p this is what i would recommend for those of you are starting off and all my courses all my videos were recorded on this in fact i recorded my initial videos on logitech c920 which is the first version of it now i don't think it's available it was 8000 rupees and pretty much does the same job so i use logitech c922 pro you can use pro stream which is which is very good uh, the other thing i would recommend is uh, there's if you want to go like super high definition with a webcam there's logitech uh, brio okay this one is like ultra 4k I'm just waiting for the lockdown to to complete, and I want to test out this in in comparison to this. I know it's a really good one, but it's it's quite expensive. Okay, it's twenty three thousand bucks for just a webcam. So anyway, this is what I would recommend that you start with. 
let's come to the next tool that I use. I use uh, th the camera that I'm using right now is uh, it is a Canon 200D. This is the one which I'm using, Canon EOS 200D, which is a 24 megapixel DSLR camera, which I'm using right now to stream this video. And I can do a whole bunch of stuff, uh, you know, with this camera. It's, it's got some very good features. It's it's super. I mean, you can even go into like Canon 5D and which is like three lakh rupees and stuff. But this one, I think it is good. I got it for like 50K. Uh, I think I got it for a little bit more than that, including the two lenses that come with it. Yeah, under 60K range. So this is what I'm using to stream right now. Uh, you can even, there are many options. Like you get into the market, there are too many options with, with Sony, with Canon, with Nikon and so many others. But this, is this good? Is the quality of this video good? Yeah, just type super cool in the comment box. It's decent, right? Like I can even, I can even zoom out a little bit if I want. Let me just see the, I can zoom out, I can zoom in. Yeah, I can do a whole bunch of stuff. So I, I, I really like this uh, clarity, uh, even for the lighting that I have over here. And uh, I've got a, like a light at the back here that's, that's just giving some light, you know, hitting on my face. But otherwise it's, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty neat. Let's come back. So I, I use a Canon 200D. Number three is I use a, a sound card, which is an Audient ID4. This is the sound card through which this mic is actually running. And let me show it to you on the screen so that you're able to see exactly how this looks, looks uh, like. Let's jump into it. Okay, this is the one. I use uh, an Audient ID4 sound card, which is sitting right below this. I don't want to you know, move the camera, but uh, it is right here. So I get my volume controls. I'm able to control the level of my, you know, my audio, my input levels, everything is on the, it's right on my desk, on my side. So I can keep moving it up and down. And it's, it's just through USB. So I have two USB ports uh, that's, uh, that are live right now. The first USB, USB port is uh, connected to the camera, which you're watching. And the second USB port is is uh, running this microphone. Okay, so the sound card is connected to the laptop, and the mic is connected to the sound card. Okay, let's uh, next. I'm going to share with you what sound card am I using. Uh, I, I, I'll tell you which microphone am I using. I'm using a microphone. This particular mic. It is a expensive mic. It is a Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. It's a large diaphragm condenser microphone, which is really good. This also comes with a pop filter. Let me just get my video on. I think my video is not seen. I'll just get my camera on. Okay, so this one is a large diaphragm condenser microphone. Let's come back over here and you're able to see my screen, right? Okay. So this also comes with a pop filter. If I want, I can use this and I can even make this uh, like if I do per 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 if I blow, it does not happen. But when I remove this filter, when I do, you can actually hear the pop sound and even there'll be also some sibilance. So, I mean, I've just kept it off right now because I like the clarity without the pop filter and it seems pretty okay. But usually if you're singing like music and tracks like that, you don't want to catch the, the purr and the burr sounds and all that stuff. Anyway, so I like this one. Sometimes I use the pop filter. So coming back over here, the microphone that I'm using is this, the LC, LCD 440 Pure. It is 20K and just my sound card and this 20,000 rupees plus 15,000, it's 35K for this gear alone. And if I include my camera, it is uh, another 60K over there. And then, you know, my, my Logitech. So I just kept adding it only recently, okay? So let's come back and jump into the mind map. The other uh, gear that I'm using is, uh, I'm using the KRK Rocket 5, which is a baby that I've been using for a long, long time. I mean, these babies are, they've been around for, for at least more than 12 years. Okay, I, I have the older version of the Rocket 5, but it looks really, really cool, okay? This is what I have, okay, the sixth generation. Let's see if Rocket 5, KRK Rocket 5. So this is how it looks, this is Rocket 6. Mine looks similar, but yeah, this is the, the eight, eight inch version. Now they have different looking ones. Mine looks somewhat like this, like what you're seeing over here, it looks very similar to this G4. And this is one monitor is 16K, I think both of these, I got this uh, like many years back, like I mentioned, okay? And I use this mainly for monitoring and mixing music. Okay, so if you are in any kind of, uh, you know, if you're doing that general stuff, you don't need to have this. And, uh, but for, if I have to mix music, I like to mix on these monitors, very good. And I also use, uh, and, uh, 
okay this is my headphone that i use it's called the audio technica 80h mx50 professional studio headphones and uh, this is very good for mixing so sometimes when i'm you know when i want to mix when i say mix it is when i want to really go into really adjusting the levels of the sound and you know adding multiple layers and things like that i i always like to monitor on this not on these apple headsets apple headsets are just good for listening it's more for easy listening and for listening to music and stuff and you know for basic stuff but when you when you actually going to be mixing for uh, for for pro audio stuff you need to use something like this so i use the audio technica which is my headset let's come back to the mind map i use krk rockets number 6 is uh, yeah i use apple headset and i've been using these apple headsets for a long long time and trust me i mean in fact all my initial courses were recorded using the apple headset only recently i got this mic and it is very good i mean the quality of the microphone is superb and then in uh, screen flow there are some options to enhance the quality of the sound so i use some of those features so even though i record on a basic headset which is a 2000 rupee headset it's uh, it did a great job and those are the courses that are still many people are accessing and going through them only recently i've got you know a little bit more high tech on my gear and uh, number 7 is what uh, yeah the machine that i'm using right now is a macbook pro 15 inch i'm using an 8 core uh, 2.3 gigahertz 16 gb ram i uh, planning to upgrade uh, soon plan to go for the 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 iMac Pro which is uh, which is a monster of a machine because i'm planning to do a lot more videos a lot more editing and stuff uh, this one is great you know this itself is a workhorse it can do a lot of work in fact this can compete with a with an iMac Pro but uh, i think if you are into any kind of serious serious uh, content production hands down macbook pros okay there there's nothing that can beat this and the stability of the machine and it kind of never crashes no matter what you do okay i've been on a macbook pro for like ages starting from the 13 inch macbook pro then the then the next generation 13 inch macbook pro then i moved into the 17 inch macbook pro then i came back to 13 and then i jumped into 15 and now i you know i just cannot i this is like the machine that makes everything possible okay So just to recap here are all the stuff that I'm using I covered all the softwares I covered all the hardware and it's been one hell of a journey testing all these different tools okay one hell of a journey testing all these different tools and you can just take a snapshot of the screen if you want okay just take a snapshot of the screen and I'll just I'll just give a thumbs up over here just take a selfie with this if you want take a snapshot of this okay and please post this in your facebook uh, on your you know facebook or instagram and just tag me okay just tag me using at @symbol siddharth rajshekar on instagram or on facebook i would love to engage with you and just just tag me and type in that type in that comment box uh in the description on what did you learn i would love to actually connect with you uh, even otherwise on instagram and facebook so if you're po- if you're watching this on facebook do it there if you're watching this on youtube just take a snapshot of all of this just take a snapshot of the screen yes and uh tag me tag me on instagram and tag me on facebook when you do that okay on facebook don't tag my personal profile tag my fan page my fan page is again at s i d d h a r t h r a j s e k a r you'll see my fan page just go use that same tag put the at symbol in that and you'll be able to actually you know connect to, uh, and i'll be able to see your posts okay now if you're watching this on facebook if you're watching this live on facebook just hit the share button share this video with somebody else it's going to be useful for them and i've given you the whole load on of this there's a lot more that you can do but this is the essential stuff which is really running my business there's nothing more that i need from besides what i've shared over here unless i need to go high tech and you know get some go a little bit more high definition but i'm very happy with this this setup that i have so awesome guys i'm going to be jumping off right now got a bounce and uh, yeah tomorrow is is monday today is a sunday evening i'm recording this video and that is what i love about the internet business for me sunday does not mean no work day every day is a special day normally i don't like to work on wednesdays wednesdays is my completely free day unless i'm doing a webinar or something like that i may you know i normally try to keep it as free as possible and uh, yeah that's the beauty about living the internet lifestyle you can design your own life you can design your own hours and uh, you know it takes a lot of hard work you know it has taken me a good 7 to 8 years to really build it up to this to this level of consistency focus making things happen following a system making it work 
and uh, and really you know taking things forward so if you want to jump onto this bandwagon where i'm actually helping a lot of people make money selling their online courses and stuff i'm just going to give you a link go to sysco formula check out my formula jump into the band bandwagon i will show you how you can take your knowledge and make it into a super duper profitable business where you can really inspire and help people with this with the knowledge and skills that you have okay cheers god bless got to leave take care and please tag me i want to actually i want to actually see all the posts on instagram and on facebook and i'll engage on those uh, on those posts all the best take care